Hello everyone, welcome to the next session of this training. In this session we will see how we can configure CCMS alert monitoring. We will create our own alert monitoring in our CCMS system. Let's go to our SAP system. Let's log into our SAP. Okay. So far what we have seen using the uh, standard SAP delivered templates. And remember one thing. It's a recommended way to use this CCMS is not to use the standard template. Okay, the standard template is basically you should use it for as a reference okay, to create your own alert monitoring mechanism. Because uh, the reason behind that is that the standard template will have quite a lot of information. So let's say if you go to this uh, CCMS monitoring template, you have quite a lot of information. Basically, you may be not monitoring all these things in the daily basis. So we need to categorize what role we need to monitor based on that use this as a template and create your own monitor okay and you need to also make sure that in my view i will separate it like a daily monitoring weekly monitoring and monthly monitoring because you don't need to monitor everything every day so you, you have to monitor some specific things it's again depends on what your infrastructure what is critical for you okay you should monitor based on that you can separate it like that then it will be quite easy for you to monitor okay so if you want to create a monitor first what we need to do is we need to create a container okay so first of all in this CCMS you can see that you do not have a create options here yeah you do not have a option where you can create for that what you need to do is you need to go to extras and say activate maintenance function in this function is not by default it's not enabled Okay, you need to go and go to extras and say activate maintenance functions once you select this now you can see a lot of buttons appears the reason behind that is that this is a very critical monitoring place by accident also you should not change anything that's the reason it is just hidden like that it's not hidden it's actually protected here what we can do is you can simply create say create click this button and it will ask you create a monitoring set or a monitor so you can create a set of monitors you can create a monitoring set as well as you can create one specific monitor okay right now we wanted to create a monitoring set which will have a lot of monitors inside okay if I say then you need to select this copy now here you have quite a couple of options you have it uh, now we need to specify a name monitoring set let's say my sap checklist okay this and make sure that this name should not start with sap if i say if i start with sap uh, it says modif Modifiable set is only modified by SAP, meaning to say that you cannot start with SAP. Okay, so we go to create new monitor set, say my SAP checklist. It should not start with SAP. Yeah, now here, here you have some attributes that you can select this only for you only you can modify this one and if the next option is only for administrator and me all the administrator who can are allowed to modify modifiable for other users that means everybody then you can also enable if it is visible for public or not okay, if it's, okay. now you can see there is one new set is being created okay so if you want to edit this one, if you select, keep the cursor here and go to monitor, and go to change, there you can edit, okay? Because otherwise if you double click, it will not go to edit mode. Yeah, that's the reason. Otherwise you can go to change, you can change this. Okay. 
now inside this particular view you need to add the nodes okay so I will select this and say create once you say create it gives you the options okay the new monitor what are all you would like to add here okay now what I will do is I wanted to create my daily monitoring schedules okay daily what are all I want to monitor okay daily what I want to monitor I I want to monitor the background then I want to check the dialogue and I want to check the NQ maybe okay then I want to check the spool okay these are all my daily monitoring task here you can see the monitor and the monitor set. Monitor set is the one which we created. Now we are going to create a monitor. Inside that, inside that we are going to keep these elements. Okay. So this is our daily check. Let's say daily checklist. Okay. Now if you have seen, we have one node here which has the, the elements which we have selected from the standard template. Okay, let's create one more. Create. Say I wanted to have a weekly check on the database. I also want to check the system and I want to check the SAP licensing and system configuration. Save and I will say this is my weekly checklist. Okay, so I have one daily checklist and I have one weekly checklist. So if I select my daily checklist then I can see all the parameters what I have for my daily checklist. Okay, after this anyway we know what what to do this one and my weekly checklist weekly checklist have some error somewhere here yeah, this we already seen the operating system have some issues this is page in the paging we have an issue page in have a problem and entering the process is coming from the Java some problems okay so we created some our uh, view as well as we created some node which have some elements and remember whenever you copy this one you always need to go and adjust the parameters so until unless you adjust the parameters it will not be effective the meaning to say these are all the standard parameters which is set by the SAP maybe this is not enough okay so you go to the specific element and go to the properties and you will change the uh, monitoring parameters let's take one weekly sorry, daily checklist background job monitoring the status here we have stated attributes let's select something which have the parameter values Okay, the NQ, we have the numbers in the parameters because we have wanted to check what we can change it here. Say, we now here we need to determine, right now if you see it's zero, it's nothing is there. So it's a standard template, you need to change that. So when do you want to change it? At least here if you can see, 
comparison values uh, this is based on what what is the comparison value otherwise in average in last hour so based on that this this threshold will be changed okay so last reported value if the last reported value should change from green to yellow if the response time for this nq request nq start nq request let's say uh, 50 okay 50 of 1 by 10 seconds then it will change from green to yellow then yellow to red so another 50 so when it is 100 then it will change like that same like that when it's from red to yellow back 50 so 50 plus 50 100 it will be red then 50 plus another 50 down then it will be back to green okay like this you can you can set the values here you also have this message class message class again it depends on each message class what you wanted to monitor next one is the alert text alert text what kind of messages you like to have yeah that is about the alert text so you wanted to when it reaches this one then what kind of alerts if you want this is the message class in, in SAP we have message classes and each message class will have message numbers so in, if, if you know a little bit of ABAP in the ABAP programs whenever we create any program if you wanted to send out a message to the screen we create message classes under that we will have message number and we use this message class and message number same like that we can use it here if you, if you see this is a message class uh, if you say okay let's say if you say two two may be a different message you can see this two is a frequency and one and three message threshold this is a different message yeah this is just a message okay we can we can specify what kind of message you want if this message is not enough thing is it has quite a lot of messages if it is not enough you can also create additional messages if you want and uh, same like that if you go to the general here also you can see the uh, property of uh, MTE where also you can specify what kind of messages you wanted to display okay then here also you can see the alert triggered when you want to trigger the alert or how many alerts you want to be when the alerts particular alerts needs to be triggered and what, what kind of alerts how many alerts you want to keep and like this information so you can configure it here okay let me save this go back you can also transport this these changes you can select this and you can transport these changes to different systems so let's say if you have different remote systems if you want to monitor you can transport the changes and one more thing you need to all, all keep in mind that when if you are doing a central monitoring and you are configuring different connecting different remote systems you need to keep it minimum as much as possible because the data transfer between one system and another system should not be a bottleneck if you are uh, if you are monitoring quite large number of systems yeah so this these changes can be transported here if you are uh, adding remote systems a remote system can be added uh, from doing remote systems to add the remote system basically you will go to the transaction code rz21 there you will go to technical infrastructure configuration let's say create remote system monitoring entry here you will specify the a system ID and one collection data and uh, uh, execution data collection data means these are all two different RFC destinations one is to send and one is to receive okay to one is to receive means receive the information from from the uh, remote system to send is to trigger the alerts to the to the remote system to send the information and trigger the alerts to the remote system like this you can configure it but you need to keep in mind that if you are config uh, if you are using quite a lot of different uh, remote systems quite if you are connecting many remote system to your central monitoring then you need to keep the data you are pulling out from the satellite system should be minimal uh, in order to avoid any bottlenecks in the data transfer otherwise you know this this will be a bottleneck you will be transferring a lot of data then your monitoring should not your monitoring may not be that much effective as as you 
like to have so you can keep customizing this this uh, CCMS monitor so that you know it it can be quite useful when you to monitor in one go all the specific parameters in one specific time okay with this we are coming to the end of this session thank you very much for listening I will see you in the next session bye bye